Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little DIY. I've been talking about doing this project for quite some time now. We finally had a free weekend to bust this project out. But as you can tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna be doing a DIY chalkboard. We're gonna be hanging it up in our hallway. We're gonna use it for homeschool and for fun lettering and just to let the kids draw on and what have you. So. We're gonna jump right on into this video and I'm gonna show you really quickly where we're gonna be putting it, what it looks like right now. I'm gonna show you the supplies that we purchased for this and then we're gonna get to work. So right now, this is our hallway. So currently in the hallway, well when you come in our house, this is our front entryway, it's a mess right now. Um, but we have this hall tree and this gallery wall with this wide hallway with a bookshelf, with all of our books, obviously. And um, yeah, so we just have this wide open hallway and for right now I just have this gallery wall up with tons of pictures. So we're gonna be putting the chalkboard right here. So I'm gonna be taking all these down. I'm gonna spackle the holes, sand that, paint that. Um, our walls are repost gray by Sherwin-Williams. So I'm going to touch all that up. We purchased uh, plywood yesterday, 3 8 inch plywood, and some trim pieces, I think one by threes, to do like the framed out trim work that I'm gonna stain to match um, this here. It's the same type of trim there. So, that is the plan. We're gonna head out in the garage. Johnny's gonna cut the wood, we're gonna paint. Oh, and I also have chalkboard paint, obviously, um, that I purchased quite some time ago. So I'll kinda walk you guys through how I'm gonna do this. My friend here on YouTube and Instagram, her name's Brittany, um, she's actually the one that inspired me to do this project. So I'm gonna share her channel down below. I'm not sure if she did a video on it, but um, she shows it on her Instagram quite often. That's where I got the idea from, so I gotta give credit to her. Um, anyways, yeah, here's a little before shot, and let's get started. All right, so how big is the sheet of plywood, first of all? Four by eight. Four by eight. Four feet by eight. So what we're thinking is doing five feet wide, which yep. is right there, and then four feet tall, which will be pretty much pretty close to the size of this Just thing here. But we're gonna, taller. yeah, but we're gonna do it lower than that, because so then the kids can like draw down here and stuff too. Okay, so this is the plywood that we purchased. What kind is it? 3 8 inch? Yep. And what kind? It's stuff. It's yeah, it's not the super cheap plywood because I didn't want it to be, like some of the stuff you get has like those, um, what is it called? It's called ACU underlayment. Okay, this is ACU underlayment. There's, th there's different kinds of plywood, but. This is the same kind that we used on our island with the ship lap on our island. It's smooth, um, but it still has a good texture for a chalkboard, but it's not super rough. Like some plywood is super duper rough. So this is the stuff that we got. So it's already four feet right here, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to cut it to five, five feet, feet long. Five. And then for the trim pieces that I'm going to stain, this is hemlock wood. We got 20 feet of this and it's a uh, one by three. We also got liquid nails to attach the trim to the actual chalkboard. I think that's how we're gonna do it, mm -hmm. but I'll let you guys know. These pieces are for the top and the bottom, the long side, five feet here, and then you're cutting these to what length? 43 inches. 43 inches for up and down. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But somewhere there's a light inside of us It shows the way Now 
looking for no, no, no Heaven or go, cause I got you I got you, don't wanna show oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my heart All that I need, I'm trying to sugar cold But I'm flying so high I don't even know if I'm coming down You wrap my boat when you hold me so tight The world just disappears in front of my eyes I'm telling you why, this ain't no madness The smoke and the mirrors are memories Now the sun's gone down like a river on there so that is going to take a little while to dry it kind of looks blue when you first paint it on and then it dries completely black and then I got all of the trim stained so I will check back in with you guys when we start putting all this together okay now I'm going to work on taking these eight pictures down right here I think I'm going to leave these four up on the top and have those be above the chalkboard we'll see how it turns out that's kind of my idea right now I have this dry decks spackling it's pink when you put it on and then when it is white that's when it is dry and that's when you can sand it and then paint the area that you're filling it in so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that part white I can sand those down and just touch up the paint real quick all right all of the spackle is white so I'm gonna go get my little sanding block sand these little pieces and then touch up the paint While the paint in the house dries, I'm going to attach these trim pieces um, to the edges with the liquid nails. And then I'm also going to stain the edges of this plywood once I get the trim pieces put on here. Um, because you are going to be able to see the edges of this plywood. So I want it to match the trim. So I will show you guys that. Stop. 
nails and put the wood down so now I just have weight, weights on top of it just to keep it in place and to um, like press it down to make sure that it adheres the right way so I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then tomorrow actually I, I should have stained the sides of the plywood before I put that wood on but I didn't so I'm gonna stain that once this is all dry tomorrow morning, and then once that stain is dry, then we'll get this all hung up tomorrow. But that's what we got going on so far. It's looking good, like a big old giant chalkboard. You think it looks good, sis? Dabba dabba doo. Yabba dabba doo. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. We are headed out to the garage. The chalkboard is complete. I just stood it up on its side this morning, and as you can see, stained the edges. It looks so great, I'm so excited. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get started hanging this up on the wall now. When all the monsters come up. It is done. I actually ended up taking those pictures down, taking the screws out of the wall because they were not level. <laughs> the template that came with that gallery wall picture frame deal, um, it was a mess <laughs> and it was not level. So I went and grabbed some of these command strips from Walmart, just these picture hanging ones. And I used those to hang them up as you guys saw I put the level on top of the chalkboard and then I just used that as like a guide to hang them so that they would be perfectly straight and level. Um, but what would a DIY project be without something going wrong? So um, <laughs> of course the screws are not even because we went off of the um, studs in the wall. Well, our stud finder, I don't know what the deal was, but the first time we did it, it showed us the studs were like here, but it actually didn't start until like right here. And it's like a huge long one that goes like this. So we, this is the one that's actually like anchoring the chalkboard up, but there was already a hole here from the first the first one that we put in. So we had to put a screw there, and then we had to put one here because the liquid nails, I don't know, this piece is like warped, and so this trim piece wasn't sticking to the plywood, so we put a screw in here and it split the board. So, um, and then same thing down here, this is the screw that is anchored into the wall, and this is the first one that we put in, so we had to put a screw in there um, just because there was already a hole there, so. 
Uh, no big deal. I mean, it's not supposed to be like perfect looking. Um, but yeah, so the screws aren't even on the top, but that's fine. And then the screws on the bottom are only in the studs. So there's one there, one there, and then on that end we had to put just like a short one because that board also was warped and the liquid nails wasn't holding it down. So um, not perfect, but what DIY project is. I think it looks so good though. I'm gonna figure out another place to hang the rest of those pictures, but I absolutely love it so much. So now I'm gonna grab a piece of chalk and just go over this whole entire thing, kind of prime it and prep it so then the kids can start coloring on it and we can use it for homeschool and all sorts of stuff. Now it is ready to use. I Yay! love it. Okay, let's grab some chalk and let's do some artwork. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away Alright you guys, that is going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching us throw together this quick DIY We're already enjoying it so much Thank you guys so much for watching Be sure to hit that red subscribe button So you don't miss out on any of our videos Give this video a thumbs up And I will see you in my next one Bye, Bye.